sorry that there is no camera in my computer. So I, I can, yeah, so I can cannot turn on my camera to show uh, the 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 situation. Yeah, it's fine. It's not a problem for me. I, I think I can hear you clearly. That's the most important one. But by the way, Ivy, um, good evening. I'm teacher Karen. Yes. I'm your business English teacher. So yes. welcome to my class. Welcome to Fun Talk. Yes. Okay, Thank so you. I oh uh, yeah, yeah, that's no problem. Uh you know. Um so Ivy, to start with our class, um can you tell me about yourself so that I would know my student? <laughs> uh, okay. Um, uh, now I'm a researcher, uh, institute researcher, and uh, uh, I study on the uh, side, uh, scientific park. I study on the scientific park and uh, especially on the um, government policy. Yes. Wow. So yeah, so this is my work, and uh, I'm 38 now, <laughs> this year. Yeah. But you still look young in the picture, though. <sighs> I th uh, You have a great job. I'm really happy for you. And by the way, so is that the reason why you want to study business English? Do you have a certain goal to achieve? Uh, um, I, uh, now I... I didn't uh, I I I didn't set the the goal, uh, but um, for my work, um, sometimes I must to go abroad to visit, uh, for ah, my work. Yeah. Okay, I see. Yeah. So, um, in in this situation, I must to converse must conversation, uh, with the foreigner. So I think the the basic. Uh, conversa conversation skill and the speaking skill uh, is is the basic is the basic skill. Okay, I understand your goals. I think all of us really want to to have a very good communication skill so that we can do better in our job. By the way, um, Ivy, I have been teaching English for five years, and then my major before in university, um, I was an English ma um, I'm an English major. Yes. So my specialization is English, and I have been teaching foreigners for uh, for many years now. So um, I will help you with your goals. So let's achieve that together and then let's do business English tonight. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, so I will share my screen so that you will, um, I think you receive my presentation, right? Mm, yes. Okay, so I think that's not a problem. So I will share my screen. Just give me a second. Okay, can you see my screen right now? Uh, yes. Okay, yes, very clearly. Very clear. So before we start, um, I have um, read your um, objectives for this class. You want to improve your speaking and have confidence. Yes. More confidence in speaking. Is that right? Yes. Okay, so we will do that tonight. I will have a lot of activities for you. Okay, so there you go. I have it here. Okay, just give me a second. Okay. I'll listen to this the is dog it. is barking. <laughs> oh, my dog? Oh, uh -oh. I'm really sorry. I think it's not our dog. It's like the dog from the neighborhood. Oh, In Philippines, there's no so many. I'm really sorry. I apologize, Ivy. I think I am in my room right now. Oh, <laughs> I am in That's my room no problem. right now. Oh yes, I, I think there's a problem. I think I have to to change the place. But anyway, since we have started this, I will make up to you next time. Um, Ivy, can you see this on screen? Oh yes, business English. Conveying ideas. Yeah, conveying ideas. I ideas. ideas. So our topic today is business English, and our objective is to um, practice and get to know better when it comes to conveying ideas. So I know it's really hard to express. So um, conveying is delivery. Very good. That's 
right, Ivy. That's how. That's exactly what it means. Conveying is expressing. Oh yes. Okay. So ready. Okay. So let's start with the vocabulary. Now, um, the vocabulary that you will find, you will see here, are actually not difficult, but it is important to master them so that we can convey our ideas better. So, can you please read the first vocabulary, the first word, and also um, the meaning and the oh. example? Okay. Uh, found. To provide money for something to be done on an of official level. Example, the government has agreed to fund our research for another year. Okay, that's good. But can you can you say um can you say it again? Fund. 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 Very good. So fund here is a verb. What do you know about verb, Ivy? Yes, verb. Do you know what is a verb, Ivy? Uh yes, uh it's an um Action, active. Yes, that's an action word. So, um, do you understand the meaning of fund here? You you mean fund? A uh, fund, fund. Um, do you know the meaning? Do you understand the meaning given in this? Uh, uh to provide to money or to uh, donate. It's not donate. I think to give money, to provide money for something to be done. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay, so we also have a noun fund. The fund. fund. The fund. So uh, it's different. The, the verb fund is different. The meaning is different from, is different from, from the, the noun. Donate. Donate. Um, actually, donate is different from funding. Actually, um, oh, oh, both of uh, both of the words, they actually entails money. They talk about money because when you say fun, you give money to something, so that something will be done. Yes. So donate is so donate is like you just give money just for charity. Mm, yes. Just for charity, yes. just give it, and you don't care it, how they will use the money, because it's given out of your kindness. Yes. Yes. So, um, fund here since this is a verb and not the noun, so we fund. I want to fund that project. So yes. that means what? If I would say, um, Ivy, uh, I know you have a project this year and I have decided to fund your project. What does it mean, Ivy? Fund project. To fund your project. Uh, to is an infinitive. To fund. So to provide money. So if you have a project in the company and then I'm, for example, I'm a, a boss, I don't know, I'm a client and then yes. I will decide to provide the money so that your project will be done. Yes. Oh, did you understand the meaning? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um. Can you give me your example, Ivy? Mm. Um, the boss has agreed to fund our project. Very good. You got it right. So, so um, it's the same thing with our example here, but I think you got the you got the meaning of the word fund. Um, can you give me another one? Mm. Hello, Ivy. <laughs> uh -huh. 
is it a little is it a bit difficult so i think we have to read the example first so the government has agreed to fund our research for another year so i think the example is very clear that the government will give money so that the research will be done next year so i will fund your project the dad has agreed to fund the kids um um uh, for the the toy for the toy i think um so the dad okay so um i will uh you mean the father mm, yes Okay, so I think you got the meaning, but I, I want to explain to you, Ivy, that in English it's very complicated because um, the word fun, you use this one as a business in business context. Mm. For example, yeah. so if you use this one, since this is a formal word, for example, if my parents decided to fund my education today, uh, t this year, so I think that is good. I can understand, but I think the word "fun" there is so formal. Yes. So that is not informal. It's formal. It's uh, yeah. It's it's formal. Yeah. Can you give me like an example in the workplace, for example? Like in, for example, in your work, in your work, how do you use "fun"? For example, mm. like you uh, go abroad yeah. all the time. Who yes. funds that? Yes. Um, for example, uh, for my work, uh, mm. uh, we we do the project for the government. So <laughs> it's the same as the example, the government. Uh, ah, okay. Yeah, <laughs> the government okay. fund our research project for uh, once a year. Okay, so I see that this example is perfect for your job. <laughs> yes. Anyway, so I think when you go abroad and you see uh, your client, your company will fund your travel expenses. Mm. Your company will fund, so give money for your travel expenses. Mm. So... Yes. That's an uh, that's an example. Uh, hello, Ivy. Can you hmm. hear me? Oh uh, yes. Oh okay. So, uh, do you understand the word "fun" so that we can uh, proceed to number two? Uh, yes. Okay. Can you please read number two, Ivy? Okay. Uh, revolutionize. Okay. Revolutionize to change the manner that something is done. Example. David Bowie re re revolutionized several gener gen Gen genre genres of music. Very good. So revolutionize. The meaning here to change the manner that is something done. So you change the ways. You change something and you this word revolutionize, you can use that yes so for example here david bowie revolutionized several genres of music do you understand the word genre oh uh, no i i didn't see the the vocabulary genre. okay so genre yeah. is like a type 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 okay yes for type. example what are the types of music Several types uh, of music. Can you give me an example of a type of music? Uh, Bossa Nova, New uh, Age. Ah, uh, yes, and popular. New Age. Oh, it's popular. So, yes. um, the uh, are you familiar with rock music, pop music? We have genres like that. Yeah, or classic. Classic music, very good. Yeah. So those are genres of music, different kinds. 
Yes. O okay. So, um, since you already know the meaning of genera, so David trying to change several genres of music. So, um, the author here, um, the word change is not being used, but what is being used here is revolutionized. Yes. So, uh, the nouns of the, the vocabulary is revolution. Yes, correct, perfect. Revolution, and then the verb is revolutionize. Okay. So, if you want to change something in your company, you want to revolutionize what is in the system. So, like, for example, in your, um, like, for example, our president in the Philippines, um, he wants to revolutionize the system of our government. So, just that, that, that is just an example. For example, he wants to change our government. So, he wants to revolutionize our government. Can you give me your example, Ivy? If you can give me one, if... Oh, okay. I'm thinking... Revolution. Yes, I'll give you time. Revolution. Um. I... I revolutionized um, many kinds of many, many kinds kind, many kinds of ways to do uh, to try to open the doors. The doors. What do you mean by doors? Uh, in the workplace, can you give me a formal example? For example, in situation. Uh, pardon. Um, like, can you give me an example in the workplace situation, wherein you can use the word revolutionize? Uh, I revolutionized. Uh, I revolutionized many kinds of ways to. To open the door. To open the door. You're <laughs> yeah. trying to change the ways and how to open the door. What do you mean by the door? Is that is there a meaning about the door? Like a normal door? Maybe the door is locked and um, I I didn't have the key to to open it. So <laughs> Ah, okay. <laughs> you're trying to change, but I think you're not trying to change it, but you're trying to make a way. You're oh, trying to make a way, but for example, you have a rule. For example, you have a rule in your company. Don't do this, don't do that. And then you work in that company and then you want to change those rules. Mm, yes. So, you want to revolutionize i want to revolutionize the rules in this company so it means to say you change something that is already in the company yes mm. okay I so see. yes 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 i think <laughs> um is it still difficult uh, i will leave it there and then i will we will talk about it later or okay. you, you want to give me an example if you're ready already? What else do you want to change? Is there something you want to change? Like the ways? Mm, the, the lifestyle. Oh, okay. So you want to revolutionize. What kind of lifestyle do you mean to say? Hmm... Sometimes I, oh, always, uh, I think uh, the time is, is out. So I, I don't have 
enough time to to do uh to do the things that I want to do. Oh, so okay. after the work, I must uh try to take care of my son, and I must cooking. I must uh try to wash the clothes. Yeah, and do some some chores. Oh, so I, I I think I must um revolutionize. <laughs> yeah, revolutionize my lifestyle and uh, to um uh, to increase the efficiency. I think. I I think I think you you're correct with that one with that example. It's very clear. Okay, so I think Ivy, you got the end. You got the meaning. Um, am I right? Uh, yes. Very good. Okay, so can we move on to the third one? Can you please read it? Yes. Uh, pebble, a small round stone. Example: The beach is completely covered in pebbles and uh, shells. Sh shells. Shells. Very good. Okay, so I think um, you have seen pebbles in the beach, right? It's yes. a very small and rounded stone. Yes. Um, like sometimes the color is gray and sometimes the color is like beige. So um, it's small. So I think it's just a kind of stone. It's a very simple meaning. It's just a kind of stone, small rounded stone. So the beach is completely covered in pebbles and shells so um hello ivy uh, yes okay can you use the word pebble in a sentence do you understand the meaning uh yes mm -hmm. uh the garden uh is completely covered in pebbles uh and uh pebbles <laughs> yeah you can just say you can just stop there like uh, the, the garden is completely covered in pebbles period i think that's correct yes <laughs> uh, pebbles are really beautiful i, I want to put them in my garden too uh, yes okay so um the next word can you please read the next word okay um wind she Windshield, the front window of a car, truck, etc. Example: There's a scratch on your windshield. Windshield. Shield. Oh. Windshield. Windshield. Wind Correct. Okay. So it's a noun this time. This is a noun, just like pebble, and it's the front window of your car. So uh, have you seen? The windshield of your car? Mm, yes. Yeah, it's the windshield and... Um, so what is the scratch? Scratch is like, for example, this is a... Like, for example, this is a glass window. If I'm going to scratch it like this, I'm going to make a mark. Oh, okay. I'm going to make a mark and it actually ruins the beauty of the glass, for example. Oh, because it's yes. scratch yes, you I can see. scratch my face and I'm gonna I'm gonna cry mm -hmm. yes. yeah that's a scratch but scratch can be a verb and also can be a noun okay so uh, in this sentence is a noun yes there is a scratch on your windshield windshield and the front window the window of your car so um i think uh, this is a very simple one um i know you have a car so can you say something about your windshield it's the window yes mm -hmm. uh, the, the windshield of my uh, is dirty. <laughs> <laughs> My windshield is 
it's dirty. Yes. Very. It's simple and precise. That's exactly <laughs> correct. <laughs> yeah, but I know it's not dirty. <laughs> it's you know, example. sometimes I think making sentence uh, needs the innovation. <laughs> yes, yes. Don't worry about that. I know it's just an example. You you got it right so far. Okay. Um. Next one. Okay, this one, nanotechnology. Can you please read it? Oh, uh, ne next one. Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Nah, no, okay. Oh. Nanotech, nanotechnology. Ah, nanotechnology. Nanotechnology, the branch of technology that deals with tiny structures. Example. Yeah. She is currently developing a medical bot using nanotechnology. Nano technology. Technology. Okay, very good. So nanotechnology, it's nanotechnology. This is a branch of science. It's a branch of technology. And it talks about, it deals with small things, tiny structures. So this is the kind of technology that deals with small things. What are the small things, for example? Um, do you know bonsai? Are you familiar with bonsai? Yes. Ivy, hello Ivy. Do yes. you know a small tree? Tree, yes. The bonsai. That bonsai is actually as an example of nanotechnology. So when something big, you make it smaller. That is uh, an example of a nano. Because nano means small. Mm, yes. So for example, um, in our daily life, um, we apply nanotechnology with our medicine because our medicine can be a capsule. Yes. And with our food packages, shampoo, yes. they're all small. Mm -hmm. uh, can you give me an example of a product of nanotechnology, Ivy? Okay. Uh, in my company, mm -hmm. some researchers study a focus study on the nanotechnology. Perfect. <laughs> you got it right this time, like one time. Mm. I think this one is the easiest for you. <laughs> yes. Okay. So I think I think that is it. Okay. Next one. Can you please read the next one? A uh, projection, okay. a, pre a prediction, an estimate of something in the future. Example. Let's begin by looking at some of next year's sales proje projections. Okay, so um, do you have any word there that you don't understand? Mm, yes. Yes. I think, uh, yeah. I think um, can you give me the words that you don't understand, Ivy? Uh, I think. Uh, uh, our team uh will uh, going uh um, uh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Ivy. Um, do you understand prediction? Uh, yes, estimate or oh. pre pre predict. Project. Uh, predict, very good. So I thought, oh, yeah, okay. So projection is like your prediction, like what will happen in the future. You already see it. Yes. You, okay. So the word projection, you use this one in your business, in business areas. Yeah. So, uh, for example, let's begin by looking at some of next year's sales projection. Yes. So, my projection for next year, next year's sales will yes. be good. Yes. Okay, so um, I think you understand this. Um, can you give me your example? Okay. Um, some uh, research institute... Uh, will announce the GDP projection once a year. Wow, I'm very impressed. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, wow. <laughs> I'm very impressed. Your, your English is good, Ivy. It's easier Thank to you. improve right away. Wow. Very fast learner. I like teaching you. Okay, the next one. 
Uh, thumbed plane. Okay.